How's it going guys? My name is Eric Rodriguez. I'm the Student Support Specialist for Adobe here at the University of Arizona. And today I'll be going over how to use Illustrator files in After Effects. So to start off, we're going to take our Illustrator files and we're just going to import them into the project panel. And now what we're going to do is take both of these and create a new composition from them. Now as you can see they're both in here now and we can move them around but we can't really manipulate each of these layers that we've built in Illustrator. They just act as one single object. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight both of these. We're going to right click and go down into create and we're going to select create shapes from vector layer. Now once we do that we can just go ahead and get rid of these Illustrator files. And now you'll notice if I collapse this little menu here, if we go under contents, we have all of the individual parts that make up the Illustrator file. So as you can see, as I get rid of them, they come out on the side there. We can transform the object itself just through the transform tools here, or we can go into contents and select one of these parts and actually transform only that part. For the sake of organization, we can actually go in here and just rename each of these so we know what it is. We can go ahead and select it, deselect it, so we'd say this is sort of the body of the butterfly, so we can just label that body. So now we can actually go in here and just animate this butterfly to come in off screen. So we're going to keep her in position. And we're going to go down a few frames. And just drop them off there. So what I'm going to do now is actually go in here and adjust all the anchor points for these, for the wings. I'm just going to try and put it in the corner. There we go, we can just go ahead and move it back. So we're going to go in here and we're going to set the rotation. We're going to keyframe it for both of the right, or for both of the left wings. We're going to go down transform. We're going to keyframe rotation and we're just going to make it the same on both, which is negative 13. So we're going to go ahead and do that for all of them. So I've gone ahead and keyframed in all the rotations for the wings and this is what it looks like. Just a simple quick animation, you can see the, the wings moving there as it flies up. So as you can see these animations are nice and simple, they work really well with the Illustrator files. A neat keyboard shortcut you could use to help you keyframe quicker would be selecting your file and then hitting U and then it'll just bring up all your keyframes. You can see. I can see the ones for rotation as well as the position. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Be sure to head over to adobe.arizona.edu for more tutorials and Adobe content.